Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to the Geek Group. I'm here today in the high voltage lab with Mr. Kidwell. Now, Sam made this awesome top load for the six inch coil. Yes, he did. And it didn't work. It just, right. we had shaping issues. So what I wanna do is, I don't wanna just put this on a shelf. I wanna put this in action. And a long time ago, we built a pair of target, ground target stands. Yes. I wanna put this on one and have it at a known reference height. So we'll put it at like, not exactly, exactly because we have pedantic viewers, but really most sincerely, almost 10 feet to the, okay. to the top. So it'll be like within a quarter inch. Okay. Um, so to do this, oh, before we take that out, we're gonna drill the hole in this side. So it, not, doesn't so it doesn't rattle around in there while you hold it. Make sure to have the big pokey bit pointing up at you. Yes. Okay. So we have to drill a hole. Okay. And this is the cap. So our hole is just beautiful for this. Mm -hmm. You ready? This is stainless, so this will be a little exciting. And we've already got an existing hole in there, but it's a quarter inch hole, so it shouldn't rattle around too much. It's in there. Yeah, I know it's in there. <laughs> you got it? No, I don't. Okay, you figure that out. I'm gonna drill the hole for the bolt. That's a quarter inch. You want to come here and hold this? No, I'll let you hold that. Okay. That was me. What are you doing? Nothing. That was not me. That was you. Vibration. Okay. You. What? A disc, I got a hole, okay. I got a bolt, I got everything a growing boy needs. Okay. All right, so now, <laughs> this is gonna suck so bad. Where's your nut? All right. Oh, it, isn't, it isn't just that. Well, you got a magnet on the end of that. Do we? All right. You said there was a magnet. Well, we gotta get this. Oh, we gotta take that up first. All right. I think you're going to need the uh, thing on the end there because. Uh, what is it? Socket. Okay. Okay. Should be the same size. Good there? I got a ratchet okay. too. See if you time it right. You spin. Well. When you know it, it flipped the switch. Got it. I think you got to slide that in. Okay, you got it. Go, go, go. Pull, pull. Oh, I almost made it. The magnet was a clever idea. I got to give him that. That was smart. Got it? There's like a fender washer in there and I think it's yep. bigger than the hole. That fender washer may be there for a very long time. Let me see. Hold Go it ahead. up. You hold it up. The fender washer is bigger than the hole. So yeah. that's going to lose that's, that. that's just, that's a little feature. It's counterweight. It's to uh, handle oh. oscillations. Okay, you want to get really, well, okay. All right, so we got to bolt this. Yes. To there yes. from the inside, and we want we want the we, we want the top of the button head, Got then you. the dome, 
then the thing, then the nut. So you take so, that and just stick it through. Um, why don't you I have that a nut. In. I will. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm gonna put the nut in here, and I got a little magnet, so yes. I don't lose that. Okay, so we're in. Mm -hmm. I gotta get this on there, and that's the tricky bit. So, okay, so we'll hold it at an angle so you're going up. Line it up here, and I'll tell you up, down, left, right. When it lines up, I'll work it in. I have an idea. What's your How idea? about if we use a little tape? Might help. You think? I wanna, there's a little burr. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna put this on here and just put a piece of tape over it. Don't bump the table. Just gonna put a piece of tape right over the top of it. Now that all lines up. Okay, we line right up through to our thing, and we're on there. And the tape is gonna live in there for... The tape will be there forever, and nobody yes. will ever know. Don't tell anyone. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Now, I can see the hole, but I can't see it once this is in the way. Not a problem. Okay, so you're driving. Do you need a light in there? Nope, just come right up to the end. You're nowhere near the end. There, okay, go down for me. How about if I come over here? Yeah. There. Hey, get out of the damn way. Okay, go. Wow, you are all over with that thing. Grabbing. Yep, grabbing hard. Why are you Cross so them because the tape, the paper is between the threads. Okay. Um, I need that. Doesn't that go on the wrench first? Yes. I think you're right. Is that cobalt? This is really cool to be set. I like it a lot because we have uh, we got it for in here. Well, we got it for before, but we use it in here because. Uh, we do so many things with having to, like threaded rod. Mm -hmm. Like we do a lot with threaded rod in here. What? You're off. Go change out for the deep well. The bolt is long enough that the. Yeah, you push we're good. It off. I don't think I need the magnet at this point. No, you do not. Three turns, that's what I needed it for. You good? Yeah, go. Okay. Hang on, my thing came off. Down here. All right, you ready? Go. That's as tight as a quarter 20 ever needs to be. All right, so. Now you got a cap. We have a cap, we have a socket inside the ball, and a fender washer. washer. Fender washer. All right, so now we got to trim this at as close to 10 feet as we can reasonably get. Okay, you got the um, tool? I got the cutter. And we measured it out. Yep. We have a line here that is exactly 10 feet off the floor. Give or take. Now, how much thickness do you think we have there with the top and the, the nut? You got the thickness of the cap, the thickness of the bowl, and the nut. So less than a quarter. Okay, so Maybe I'm gonna take a quarter feet. inch off up here. Okay. Okay. So then we're within a quarter inch of 10 feet. For this, that's fine. Yeah. I've got my nice Klein conduit cutter. You might want to hold the top. 
No, you don't hold on to the top when you're on a ladder. You okay. hold the bottom because that's not going to leave. The top part's going to leave. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm... I don't think that works with copper. Well, this is a scoring tool more than you a cutter. You want the other one? Yeah, give me the other one. Will it go big enough? Uh, yes. All right, give me the cutter. This is for conduit, so it's designed to score it more than cut it. Where'd it go? There it is. There, just tried it. I'm open. I can open it. Okay, you can open it. There you go. <laughs> This is also scoring, not cutting. Now you put a little taper on there, it'll make putting the thing in easier. Maybe, but it's not gonna cut the pipe. That did it. Here, I'll trade you. Like that. I got that. Now I have to find the thing. And there's no way to see it, it's all by touch. It's sitting on it, but getting it in. Ah. No. Nope. All right, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna move this back this way. That's too, oh, hey. Like lock picking. It is very much like lock picking. It's all like I'm just sighting across the room to get it level because I know that my thing's really close to level. Got it! That's on. That's All right, your breakout is facing straight away from you right now. Huh? Your breakout point is facing is. away from you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point it. the breakout point halfway between the legs, like right. that. We'll have the breakout point face away from the coil. That's really firmly under, like I'm... You got a rubber mallet? I don't think so, but I'll I want to seat that down really hard because I don't want to have to go through that again. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Just 
give me the hammer on top then. Thank you, sir. That went down like another half inch. It's, and you can hear the sound change. That's yeah. all the way down. So that is 10 feet. She's a little higher than what we really want, but it'll hit the side and whatever. Shall we fire it up and give it but a shot? But now we have a reference for a 10 foot height in here. That's kind of cool. That's really neat. <laughs> so, uh, you want to test it out, Paul? Yes, definitely. Okay, I think we should for science. All right, so there is a quick and dirty project. That, that was a moment of surprise when it went in. It was kind of really? weird. Really? Yeah, I was like, ur, 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 ur. Oh, oh, hey, well, cool. That works. <laughs> yeah. So we made, we made a stick mm -hmm. with a ball. Yes. And now we have a reference in here for it that's 10 feet high. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. So you guys at home watching now know the reference, the top of the ball, the, 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 the tip top apex of the ball is 10 feet off the floor. For any experiments that you see in future videos in here, there's your height reference. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Kidwell. And as always, we'll see you next time.